Welcome to video 6 on the SCARM model railway editor. In the previous video we edited tracks by moving them or copy and paste or delete but we had not have a had a chance to look at a rotate. So let's see how we can rotate a track in this video. Here we have a piece of track and it obviously is laid down straight, zero degrees, but suppose we want to have this railway station on an angle. Well, there are a couple of ways to do it. Probably the quickest way is to just snap the whole track to a start point that already has the right angle. Uh, well, suppose I would like this to have a 15 degree angle. Uh, I can just use another piece of track as a, a, a sort of reference. Uh, this is 15 degrees. I happen to know that because it says so here in the tooltip. Uh, so let's double click this whole track, then press Ctrl, left click and hold and drag. And now the whole station is at an angle of 15 degrees. Quite often you can get this done because you always you, you have usually uh, yeah, the right track pieces with the right angles. But if you don't have that, Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z to undo, then we can revert to method 2. Method 2 is to select the track. In this case I can simply double click and then right click to open the menu and there we find a rotate. And yeah, that opens this nice little toolbox where we can use this slider for a coarse rotation or we can use the arrows for finer rotation with point uh, 25 degrees. Uh, yeah, well, that should help a lot. Uh, so that is the second method. But now suppose that we are have a very critical application and I don't want uh, 8.5 degrees. I also don't want 8.25. Uh, I want 8.3 degrees. Well, also that can be done. And for that we use the toolbox. The toolbox, we already have seen it before here on the uh, toolbar. The yellow, I always think of it as a toaster, uh, but it is the toolbox. There we have, uh, if it doesn't show up, uh, uh, go to this drop down menu. There we have a start point that we can place at an exact location. Well, let's do 0.0, .0 but also at an exact angle. Now I can type in my 8.3 degrees, even 8.37 if I would like. Uh, place it and there it is and now double click my track and control left click and drag and there we have it perfectly on an 8.37 angle. These are the three methods uh, by which we can rotate a track. See you back in the next video and in the meantime have fun.